Hello there. A very warm welcome to today's episode of the Health Arena. This is a time where we bring you a lot of education about health-related issues. And today is no exception. We have something unique for you today. But you've got to stay with us as we go through this special discussion today. My name is Helen Tete and I'll be your host. When we come back, I'll introduce our topic and our guest. Welcome back. Have you ever gone to the hospital when you've been asked to take a test? And I know that this is a part that a lot of people don't like. Um, people go to the hospital and they're expecting that once they just tell the doctor what is wrong, the doctor will just write some medications for you and then they just go and get their medication and they go. People don't like going through this. And one of the things that people don't like, and I know because I don't like it as well, but something that is quite necessary and sometimes it has to be done. Today, we are discussing x-rays. Have you ever done an x-ray before? Did you understand what you did? Well, today we are going to throw a lot more light on x-rays and what they mean, what they do, what we should know all about it. I'm particularly excited to introduce our guest for today. She's a proud apostolic lady, and that is what I like about her. Her name is Gladys Oyote. Gladys is a radiographer, and she's been doing this for over 13 years. She currently works with the International Maritime Hospital. But not only that, she also has a master's in public health. She's very passionate about preventive health, especially when it comes to women taking good care of themselves so that they don't fall sick. Gladys is married with two children, and she's a member of the Apostolic Church, and she's in C5 Assembly. Gladys, you're welcome. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here on TAC TV. Pleasure is mine. Let's start from this. I introduced you and we say, I said you are a radiographer. And I wonder how many people understand what that big word is. Who is a radiographer? Uh, so basically a radiographer is someone who has been trained to handle or work with radiations. Another big word. What is that? <laughs> okay, so in terms of radiation, what comes to mind is X-ray. I think everybody knows or have heard X-ray in one way or the other. So someone who has been trained specifically to work with X-rays and then help the doctor diagnose um, diseases. Yeah. All right. Odofo ene health arena so. Na ene ni aye kasa afa hon eye ni a mbrofo atu ni din se x-rays. Mi esho se wati e din ni da. E mrebe bre yako hospital na se ye kono. Ni aye de kone se ye pese doktar no o reyen o ti e masem. Na e drobi a onchro mame na men koto. Na se bane se afedye doktar se kona ye unko cha ufutu, kona ye unko cha x-ray. E ana afedye na ye ni enta enye. Now, so a neno, ye rabba fe 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 ah, or no so ye apostolic, ye rabba ma pam, or comte five assembly, or ye radiographer, or bet stretch raying, say a casse ko ye extra, extra in a ye deng. Now, we fear say, wa bobro focus, se bakon. Say, obi o ye radiographer, or the radiations, ena a ye juma. Na radiations, and neutrino be explain, say no ye deng. She no dear, very dim kakra, but a fan a x ray. It's my mouth about sem kakra. Okay. Now, Bruni be a German or a physicist, a cast of physicist, I'll be a or the physics. A age, and also you who send a year. Now, one day be no one a lab, and all experiments is in here. Waves, it's me travel through glass. It's a glass, it's in him. Now, all you know who said, can you be a soap? Oh baby, for oh, baby, for 
Then we'll be saying, we say, ah, eh, can you have any? Now, there is interesting one crying, say, or my nearest so, other cabin will say, or be passing lights new through, into all some man who send a bay in shifting. The obey when they say, we're who near in, sir, don't pay a womb, and any ring across it. Near no day far at the enemy, or the femino. It's me a run hearing steam, and my own near in, sir, don't pay, and any ring or say. You see, I don't want a crown of say. You see, they rain na me win. Okay, you see, I mean him reading. It's my man a variable name. Meaning he didn't, me too he didn't say X, letter X, me the letter X, but my star ray. And you see, na yenya X ray, X ray, X ray. You see, X ray ye yeah, energy bia a boy ma yehu diye kosu wani padriani. You see, I say o e ya afmoding bia. Eh, yen fan se se o fa lighter na se o shrein kania kania o touch light mu na o shrein egu bibi so asa ya ho den ni bi na e bibi sa na te ana e bibi sa na te na dey interest won ho se yen fa ye ni hu ye ti ha se e betumi ama extra obi en hu se ama extra ya ji se me ama ma no aka show se ama extra in se ya dey yen fa ye ni hu ba e ya ho den e ya ho den wow so um a form of Energy which is released as radiation. Yes, electromagnetic energy. Okay. That is released um, with it has a higher energy level and it's, it has the ability to also penetrate through most objects. So the key thing about X-ray is that it penetrates. Penetrates. Okay. So you mentioned that it penetrates through key objects, and the example that you gave was the man, his wife. Yes. It went through his wife's hand. hand. So, and you're saying that it can be released and we will all not see it. Yes. That's very strange. Yes. So, we can just, pen it penetrates through things around us. Yes. So, are there any things that X-ray doesn't penetrate through? So, for now, we only know of lead. So, lead is the only substance or element that has the ability to stop its penetrative power. So when it comes to most radiology departments, you realize that our walls are leaded, we have leaded doors, we have leaded accessories to work with. They are the only known substance for now that has the ability to stop X-ray from traveling through. Interesting. So bringing it down, so what we know is that you're asked to go and do an X-ray yes. and you're telling us that you will pass a certain energy. Just give us, throw a bit more light, how does it work? when we come to you? Okay, so when you first visit the department, um, depending on the body parts to be imaged, we focus on that, okay? So as we said, the energy is invisible to our eyes, but um, we have this machine that determines KV and AMS. So when you take the body into consideration, the body has different um, structures within. We have bony parts, we have the tissue parts, we, have, we even have fluid, that's the water and blood within us. So they all absorb uh, this x-ray at different levels. The uh, level at which a bone would absorb x-ray is totally different from a tissue, what tissue would do. So when the person is, let's say we are um, imaging the chest, that's the most commonest uh, form of x-rays we take. The um, chest region is composed of ribs, rib cage is bony, we have the lungs, we have the heart, okay? So they will absorb this x-ray we give. We have a, a machine we press on. So when we press on, it absorbs, and there are detectors on the x-ray machine that convert these forms of energy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Not, 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 not too fast. So you mentioned the machine that will absorb. So do you have a machine that releases this energy? Yes, so there's uh -huh. a, this machine... Uh, so the machine has a cathode part and an anode part. I'm what, going into fixes. What does I don't that know how mean? to explain it in chi. <laughs> oh, yeah, in chi. So okay. it's mainly physics. Okay. So X-rays travel in a straight line. It hits a target, and as it hits, heat is released, light is released. So the light or the photons are the X-rays we all know. Of. So this X-ray is released. To the so you're saying that you have two ends, yes. one part that will produce will release the radiation yes. and then another part that will we receive. Ab we receive it. Yes. Okay. So we have the cathode and then the anode. Okay. Yeah. 
So when these x-rays, which are invisible to the eyes, are released, the body or the area of interest, based on the density level, it attenuates, so it scatters or it absorbs radiation. And then detectors on the machine pick up this radiation, convert it to image we see. So where is the body part which is being x-rayed? Um, so one, it can be on a, um, we have something we call the bucky stand or a table stand. So depending on what the doctor writes, if something like um, he writes something with regards to the spine, we let the patient lie down on the table. The table has a detector. So after x-ray is given, the detector picks up the energy, converts it to image. If something like um, chest is requested for the person stands, there's an erect bucky. The erect bucky has gotten detectors, which are sensitive to radiation. Okay. So when the radiation passes through the patient, the tester will pick it up and convert it into image. Hey, wow, we try x-ray done. Okay, no one say we could now. Eno know, we may be a near maybe a, but ene ye nyati a se se ni a omo ye ne se e ye infidi miensa. Sisi a miensa na wabudi no. Uh -huh. Bakwa e produce um, radiation. Mm -hmm. Ena bakwa and also e receive e absorb radiation. Ena third one eno no niya. Yeah, e body ni muno into okay. uh, picture. All right. Into eno niya ebe convert na ba picture no. Eno na niya u body no a absorb it. Eno absorb ni enu kini eka ni zay. Into se ya two extra ni ma ni padiana. Ni padiana beje. X-ray, no. Now, funny mu. I call it just funny mu. If I want one, I say. Ain't it? If I want one, and now we mu. And now we mu. Right. And now we mu. And when I say, if I want one, okay. Until now, I understand. Until now, church, we say, ye ni pediano. Ni ama bebre, e wo ye ni pediano. Until baku ye numpe. Numpe. Insio. Um, ana moja, ana. Uni pahunsi yo enso ewo yemu ena de ni e ye third one e tissues tissues se 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 na wo hunam tseno muscles ni adi ni na inti ni ama miensa no ena sa ni ama miensa ni ni na extra no e fa emu a hold or different levels a e different inti e wo kwanya e fa so a ye behu se we e ye dumpe e wo kwanya e fa so a we ye behu se ah se from aso e from aso ho se se lungs mu se no e from an age ni mu Aha, into eno so so edgy X-ray na e was any X-ray or picture ne so. Bibi aye tun tun mo X-ray biya so ye inframa. Bibi aye fita biya e dumpi. Na X-ray yendi ye ka tun tun kwa ni mo. Davi. X-ray na dia na ye dem ve holo. E ye tun tun. E ye tun tun ni fita most of the time. Oh, I see. Fita so kan. Fita kan. And yet next time o ko ye X-ray na. In the film, ni amo de ma yen no. Say eno na yen ye friend X ray no. Eh, say na ye friend no, but kebe friend is say X ray mifoni. Right. In the say ye kase kucha X ray na. Let's just say mu mu cha X ray na ni amo de ma yen no. I say ni amaku jina wa cha picture no. Sabe pe. In the mi cha picture ni yena fe de ye produce picture na mi cha no. Ni a di amo. Ni a di amo. But if fi di na mi di cha picture ni de eno de photographer say na wongo. Into abu no mukita o mufidi, eno muni mse no mbechi nchi mno na omecha. Mkeri anami nsa kama picha. This is interesting. So we are understanding from Gladys here that when you ask to do an X-ray, what is actually happening is that we are passing some radiations through you or whichever part of the body is being X-rayed. Radiations go through that part of your body, but those radiations are absorbed by another part of the machine. Then the way your body absorbs it is different for the different parts of your body. So bones absorb it differently. Fluid, and most of the fluid in our body is blood. Blood absorbs it differently. And we also have tissues in our body. So the tissues also absorb it differently. And there is air, mm. depending on which part of your body. So that air would also absorb it differently. But all these absorptions is captured by a detector. Yes. And so the detector is what they pick from, and then they print a film for us. So 
what you have in your possession is an x-ray film and not the x-ray itself so the x-ray is the what they do yes. at their end mm -hmm. well i'm sure you've learned something and there is a lot more in store please stay with us back and thanks for staying with us this is the health arena and today we are discussing x-rays and with us in the studio doing this discussion is mrs gladys oyote who is a radiographer that is so before we went on the break we got to understand what x-rays are and how you actually do it when you are in your unit is it only one type of x-ray that they are, or do we have different types? Okay, so there, there are two main types of x-rays. Okay. We have one for diagnostic purposes and one for thera um, therapeutic purposes. Okay, so when you say diagnostic, what is that? So the diagnostic is what you usually find in uh, various hospitals. They are com common, very common. So when you walk into a hospital and a doctor should ask you that uh, you are coughing, just go and take an x-ray and let's see what is happening in your chest. Or you fell and you have pain in your ankle. So let's just try and rule out a fracture. It's diagnostic. Okay. We'll, you'll come and then with the help of the x-ray, we'll assess to see the problem and then give you a remedy. It's so diagnostic. the diagnostic type is the types of x-rays that would help the doctor to be able to further find out yes. what is wrong with you. With you okay. internally. Internally, yes. all right. Then we have the therapeutic one, as the name suggests, for treatment. So uh, they are um, scarcely, they are, the centers that run therapeutic services, there are very few of them in Ghana. We can talk of um, one at Kolebu Teaching Hospital, mm -hmm. one at um, so Kofanoche, okay. yes, just to mention a few. So with that radiation, we use it to treat cancer cells. Right. Yes. You see, cancer has the ability to spread over time. So the doses from that radiation is that high to either shrink the cancer cells okay. or kill cancer cells right. and reduce the rate at which cancer spreads. Oh, so that's what they call, I've heard people say radiotherapy. Exactly. Right. In the x-rays, no ye wo emu ahudro miye nu ba ku a e bwa yeng ema ye tu mi pensen pensen yari emu se bibi el koswe wo ni pe dreamer yen shedan fa ye mi e umu no. Ye tu mi the sad type of x-rays no. E ye ene na brofo ya tu de din se ye diagnostic x-ray. E na ye wo another type ha. And no, no, you did sa yari. And uh, most of the times, cancer yari. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I'm going to cram yari. Cram yari. You did sa x ray type. No. Mm hmm. Um, be, and no, no, a brow mouth to me at the sa or my yari. Eh? Yeah, yeah, and can per se say you did sa yari. No, mm. but you did, you did, she bwa, send your bear yari. No, and spread it. And I say, and cone in him ten ten. Okay. Okay. But a boy, man, say cancer cells are not swan. Now you're married with therapy now. It's me, man, no, etching, a yakitua. I send a doctor now, a cacoy, cancer, a war So, oh, you, we are, yen per se, a best spread, ya call other surrounding tissue. No, it's me, this are with the therapy, so so. Actually, it's a boundaries of the lesion. Oh. Now, preventing the risk as which are cancer and best friend. Okay. In the nature, say extra now, ye can. Ye ya drink and say extra no. And one idea na to to make it down. But ye ye who say and ye no to to make it down is called the extra film. But further to that, there are two types of extra. We can have the diagnostic extra, and we can have the therapeutic extra. Okay. So. Having looked at the types of x-ray, when do people generally need to take an x-ray? Okay, so I would say that um, gone were the days medicine was like a try and error uh, system, mm. okay? 
where you you come you complain of um, let's say uh, flank pain to the doctor the doctor can't really appreciate what is happening in the side of your body side of your body okay, okay. so let's take it as if um, you have a child in the house and the child has swallowed a coin or any metallic object it could be an earring and then you present to the doctor with these complaints now the doctor wouldn't have that eye to know exactly where that coin is or where that metallic body is mm. or the doctor would want to confirm or rule out whether it, whether the child really swallowed mm. that metallic object so in this instance the doctor would ask the person to come for x-ray and as i said because of its penetrative ability it can pick up the exact position of the metallic okay. objects the child swallowed. All right. Okay. You can also have um, someone just coming in for medical exam. So for pre-employment purposes, for general checkup, we want to see the state of the lungs, the state of the heart. Is the heart enlarging? If it's enlarging, by, by what size? Okay. So when you come in, we can take chest x-ray for you. See, when corona came, it really, radiation really helped because someone will come coughing uh, at what level has the virus affected the lungs it is with x-ray mm. that you'll be able to diagnose uh, the, 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 the ailment or the, the, the disease we, we can talk of lots of modalities you can have a woman presenting with breast pain or lumps in the breast the woman goes to the doctor how will doctor get to know what is happening in the breast the doctor can ask for a mammogram. Mammogram is basically um, uh, taking x-ray of the breast. Let me put it that way. Okay. So x-rays are released to the breast, and then it picks up whatever thing that is occurring in the breast. Is it cancer? Is it just lumps? Is it something benign? Then the doctor can pick it up from there. Okay. So listening to you, um, you've mentioned a child swallow a coin. You've mentioned the side of your body. You've mentioned the breast. If we are just walking through from your head, mm -hmm. does it mean that we can have an x-ray of every part of your body? Every part of the body. Okay. Every part of the body. So there can be something wrong with your head. Yeah. And we would want to do an x-ray of the head. Yes. To see whether there's something there. Yes. So let me give you an example. Imagine there is a road traffic accident and a person comes in unconscious. So we would want to find out if there is a fracture with any of the bones of the head. Okay. So we run x-ray of that side. You can have someone with a persistent sinusitis. Infection, um, that's infection of our sinuses. Or you can have someone with halitosis, bad breath. We want to find out the cause. Are the holes in this area filled up with... Um, let's say pass or infection so we can run x-ray of that side for you when you talk of our neck you can have people presenting with goiter so goiter is where, where you have the swelling the swelling of the front neck. of your neck yes. okay so we can take x-ray to assess the state of the goiter how big it is is it causing pressure on other surrounding tissues we also have some bones in our neck as we age, there's something we call spondylosis. There can be outgrowth of the bone. Mm. And if there are outgrowth, it tends to compress on the nerves surrounding it. So you can have somebody complaining of severe pain in the arm or tingling in the fingers. Meanwhile, there's no history of trauma. X-ray can help us diagnose the neck and see what is causing the issue. So uh, basically, we can even go and go internally. Okay, okay. You can have somebody with you, a client, a relative, and you realize that all of a sudden, there's a facial deviation. The person is unable to speak well, incoherent speech. When you visit the radiology department, we are able to scan the brain to see what is happening there. Is there any rupture of blood vessels? Is there any onset of stroke? Then first, the doctor can come in and then treat it as early as possible. All right. So picking from what you said, you mentioned two different things which... Um, I don't know how related they are to x-rays. You've mentioned scan. You've mentioned mammogram. Yes. Okay. So how are they related to x-rays? So they all use x-ray in its operation. 
Yes. Okay, so but maybe let's do the CT scan, CT scan first. Okay, and then... so um, CT scan is an advanced form of the general x-ray we all know of. Just that if without one, it gives us 3D view of the body or the area of interest, cross-sectional views. So let me break it down. It's like you have a loaf of bread, mm -hmm. and then a piece, um, a candy is hidden in the loaf of bread, and you are told to... Uh, uh, Toffee is hidden <laughs> in the loaf of bread <laughs> and we are told to look out for it. Okay. okay. So with general x-ray, you can just you have to maybe cut, 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 cut before you meet where the toffee is the toffee is. But with x-ray, the CT, the CT cuts the bread into thinner slices. Thinner, thinner. Thinner slices, thinner slices, so that we don't miss out any lesion. And the patients can be lying or be in one plane, and we are going to get three cross-sectional views of the patient. So there's no way we are going to miss any hidden lesion uh, when it comes to CT. For x-rays, we can miss. Sometimes the, the person could, could be having a fracture in the head. But we, can, we will miss it because, one, the person has had RTA, he's in pain, he's not cooperating, you have to be moving the person here and there, so we'll miss the um, fracture. But when it comes to CT, there's no way you miss it. The person is comfortably sleeping. The machine in itself will rotate around the patient. We don't see with our eyes. And as it rotates, it gets thinner slices of the area of interest. Okay. So there's no way we are going to miss any lesion. But it also uses radiation. It's just an advanced form of the X-ray we all know of. In the other four, ye koswara e ka X-rays who asem na yenyanti asiyese X-ray no e ye ahundim biya ye di fa ni pedianim na ye fa ni pedianim a bebi a chima biya e wo e wo ni pedianim muno X-ray no tumi chani mfuni ema ye she sa mfuni na ye tumi hu na ye hu se X-ray no sano. Uni pedria bibia ye to me x ray. Yeah. And see if you tea wo con eh uko ko eba un sa mhm eba un nine eba in sini a wo mu eh or baby cra or ho na se be a wo why a dinya mana ye to me you suit together with uh a drobi yeah the ashen reproductive system fefe fe ube hun ovis ube hun wo dear no sene wo dear no be hun tubes Ube hu ni pani wum. Tube ni biya bloke. Infection wo baby. And me ma soso se ya bat se ya dro ben ya ya da. Ye to me, jun so to me fem wii. Sometimes infection to me bim. Na a naro a ya ke tuwa wo baby. So bon se ni pani bao se me jun so a me bre. Ana se me jun so a 10 minutes biya na jun so te me. And nusu ye to me yusu x-ray together with a dro biya ya yusu. Na ye di yu dro ben ya ya de mu. Fe fe fe. Obi wo ho se memini ade a minsu memini memini pena eye me ya na me pia ba yesu mi yusu extra ya the steady the gastrointestinal tracts me ka sa dia o mini ade a e fa e fa e hu ni pani ye funu e hu ni pani smaller intestine bigger intestine a ko du enus e ye fe keke se wo sha e ye hu ejuma e ye fe e se se ni de si mi de nyoma bebre be brave about hospital cry, if a dental section say, if you are how about a cacao singing, but yes, no, a say who say roots need be war gumpening. This is no opposite or she said, your gumpening is why infected, Anna. A better than I will say infection or an infection, you are actually, actually, you know, a child will sing, a child will sing, you who will sing, I am fit, I know, you who roots never war gumpening. You will be beer if I'm beer. Let's just say, was sent and yen near was thrown in corn and any near what a yell will be that. If you so walk, who now will call him, okay, him, ten same pa, ten only a friendly root, root, no. Aha. Oh, but horses like a same, so I used to actually was here at a pa. A be or her, not blood vessels, no supply hats, no. A be a narrow, a be a ketua, and Tina Muja a firm, yes, okay. I ketua, and see doctor not to me persistent, stents here. Eh, I said, why a beer? Why a beer? Or mudi shame? Or no mudi a beer? Blood vessel in him. But don't turn it here. On to me. Eh, yeah. Oh, who dear cost one? If I do any. It's no. It's me. You so extra or ho. Now you who need a video. 
inti baby a doctor ni wobia ye hu so oh we do ha we do ha okay eh okay and as obi wo ha ni se mwebu ebu ye no so so enjoy ni etu afa so inti doctor ni ni ko si atan na otwi don pe na o pese ho hu se bibia ye okay asana ma pam body no it's actually the a will be I see because M say M will be brain na a yeah and say say if you are out of M now don't pay bua and no kwan ye se kwa ye extra in t say mea and yemi nine ayem ya and yemin sand ayem because hospital doctor say mean kwa ye extra. Na a ye yen I dream moon na kakra ba and ye share em who say and yen pin kwa ena ye ye sa test we a man. Na niyama ahudu bebre, efi uti, eko si unaye ase. Oga nse woye mu, yesu mi stedi, akuma, nipa akuma se ni ebo, classification na plague sa, abeto nipa akuma huwa ima nisu mi humiye. Ebi betu ni abane se, se ebi abibi chwa wuna healin, ana ye operation po ni ye chwa wuna healin, eba, klotz, ene ebwa, ema healin ni yeden, eba. But sometimes, no, the klotz can move into the heart and block a vessel. It's a bandit sabon se ni pano kwa humia in susu ye. Aha, and si edene ba, ye we drew bia edene mani together with the x-ray, ni ya koni pa kumim, we hu ni arteries, di ya koso block bi wo ho, ok, blockage bi wo ho. Ye tu mi she ni pa liva, o bi wo hoa, wa no mo sa sa, ana se o no msi great, ana infection, on time ko check up. Ye tu mi affecti ni liva, inti ye chwa, ye tu mi hu u liva, ye tu mi hu u spleen. It's me who pancreas, and it's me who needs to be. Yeah, who stomach? Yeah, who just a big beer war body? I see. So yeah, who kidney? Who a kidney issue? Why it's me who? Who a ureter issue? Why it's me who? It's me who blood a coma. I see. So, so what what we're saying is that X-ray is not something that is just basic. That. It's that simple, but it helps us to do a lot more things. Lots well, things. viewers is getting more and more interesting. We'll take a quick break. And thank you for staying with us. This is the Health Arena, and today we're looking at everything about x-rays. And discussing that with us is Mrs. Gladys Oyote, who is our radiographer. If you also just joined us, we have looked at what x-rays are, and how they are produced, and the fact that we can use x-rays, which are special energies that are released, or radiations that are released to different parts of your body, as would be prescribed or requested by your doctor. They would pass these special radiations through the parts of your body and different parts of your body would absorb these x-rays differently. And so they can be detected and produced on a film which will look different depending on which part of the body we are looking at. And so when we come into the hospital, now we understand that x-ray doesn't happen only after I've broken my bone or after I fell, but we can use it for a whole list of things. So when I'm, I come to the hospital and I'm told that I need to have an x-ray, what should I expect? Um, so you, uh, you shouldn't fret. Okay. That is it. It's not scary. It's not scary. So you are not going to see the x-rays yourself. It's not time consuming. Within some few minutes, you'll be done. Just that, um, since we said it has the ability to penetrate through most objects, there are some metallic, uh, metallic objects allows x-rays to pass through them. So when you come and you have these um, metal stuffs around the area of interest, we'll let you change into a clean gown before we start with the procedure. So be specific. Metal stuff like if a woman has a dress that has a zip? Zip. Um, or metal fastness. So if you are, let's say, taking x-ray of the head and you have earrings on, you probably be told to remove that. Take if off you the metal bits. Like necklace, yes. So when you, when you visit and you are asked to maybe take off your ring because you are going to x-ray your hand, you must understand the reason. Okay. So 
these are the instructions you give us. So depending on the part of your body, you would have to take off um, whatever ornaments or metal pieces yes. that you have. Yeah. What about your clothing? So if we are investigating an area like the hand, you can have your clothes on. There's no need yeah. of taking them off. But okay. if you are investigating the chest or the abdominal region, you have to take your dress off. Probably you don't have any metal fastener on the dress, but you might have some coins or key in your pocket which the x-ray has the ability to pass through. So at the end of the day, we are going to see this object on the, on the final image. So definitely you'll be told to change. That is with general x-ray, but CT and the other modalities have their own preparations. Okay. It's quite cumbersome when you come there. So what about the position? Are you going to sit? Are you going to stand? Are you going to lie down to have an x-ray? It depends on the area of interest. There are some that you have to stand. There are some that you have to um, lie. So those are the two main positions we have when it comes to general x-ray. It's either you stand or you lie. I see. So what, what if you have somebody who is wheelchair, and the person that comes in a wheelchair and is not able to stand? So we assist. If the person can't stand, either there will be a chaperone to assist the patient, or better still, we let the patients lie. Okay. What, what has x-ray got to do with food? So we know that there are certain tests that when you're going to do, you don't have to eat. Is it the okay. same with x-rays? Uh, for x-rays, you can choose to eat any food at any point in time before you come for the x-ray. But if we are to run a modality like CT for you, most of times we inject a dye. So we, we would advise you come fasting because when there's food in your tummy and we inject the dye, the possibility of you vomiting will be very, very high. But with general x-rays, you can eat, take your medications, do everything you want to do before you come. So what advice would you give? I have been asked to do an x-ray. Yeah. Should I just walk and say I'm coming to do the x-ray or I should come and ask that this is what I've been asked to do. Is there anything I need to do? For general x-rays, you can just walk in. Okay. Yes, but I have this advice for females uh, walking in for x-rays at any point in time, whether general or CT or mammo. If you are a pregnant woman, please notify the radiographer that you are pregnant. Even it must start from the consulting room. If you think you could be pregnant, just let them be in the known. Because the fetus is very, very sensitive. Fetuses in the first trimester are very sensitive to radiation. You can have radiation causing um, havoc or chromosomal changes in the fetus. So please and please, if you are a female patient going in for x-ray and you are pregnant or you are considering pregnancy, please alert the radiographer on duty. You are have there something any, to do okay. for you. Are there any side effects? Of radiation? Yes, of x-rays. Of x-rays, yes. Uh, there are known side effects, so I'll group them into two. We have um, stochastic and then deterministic. Big so when you talk of stochastic, it's you accumulating radiation in smaller doses over a long period of time. That's the stochastic? That is the stochastic. Okay. It hardly... Um, affects patients because patients walk in for x-ray once in a while. Let me say maximum three or four times a year. So this is applicable to radiation workers, anybody working with radiation. So with time, there are, there are uh, principles when it comes to our work. Okay. You have to obey them. If you disobey them, you are likely to suffer this effect. Okay. So we can have effects such as um, chromosomal abnormalities, cancer, and the rest. Mm -hmm. And we have the deterministic type. Those ones are short term. As soon as you are exposed to the radiation, within a short term, you see the manifestations. And as I mentioned earlier, the therapeutic ones. Mm. So if a person is introduced to radiotherapy, you can have the person having skin burns, okay. um, sterility, uh, problems with the eye, um, you can have problems with the so eye. Yeah. When they are having that, so specifically on that one, if, for instance, the person's cancer is, um, let's say, the uterus or the cervix, okay, lower part of your body, it's not close to your eye, do they protect their eyes whilst they are yes, having so these radiations? I know there are medical physicists who calculate the dose okay. and everything okay. related to the uterus. So they protect... I'm not into that aspect of radiography, okay. um, okay. but I know they protect, they shield, 
they do their calculations and focus on that cell, okay. cancer cell. Likewise, general um, x-rays. So if you are to do head x-ray, there is no need of exposing your other body to radiation. Mm -hmm. So we have accessories we work with. As I said, uh, radiations are stopped or x-rays are only stopped by lead. So we have leaded accessories like lead skirts that you wear or lead aprons that you wear. So if we are to maybe examine a child or a patient who is unable and there's a chaperone in, the chaperone should wear a lead apron. Or so that's somebody who is just assisting, assisting the patient. Yes, you don't have to leave the person be like that. So these are some of the side effects that you've mentioned. Yeah. So how do one protect yourself? For instance, I've, I know that maybe I have a broken bone or um, I've been asked to do an x-ray. I've gone once, I've got twice, I've gone the third time. Knowing that there are side effects, how do I protect myself from these things? Okay, so um, when it comes to our work, there's something we call um, collimation. It's a bit technical. So it's like you have opened a light to a specific area and you know that that area is where radiation is getting to. Okay. So if the person has to uh, image the leg, you don't open the radiation wide okay. to the, the, the stomach or the abdominal portion. That's what we do. And we also showed there are some um, areas of the body that are very sensitive to radiation. We can talk of, uh, we can talk of our gonads. So gonads are basically our ovaries. And then our testicles. Your reproductive, where your reproductive, reproductive organs system, are. Yes, the breast and then the thyroid. Okay. So we have um, shielding for all these areas. Yeah. So you would shield that part of the person who is taking exactly. the x-ray so that they don't get these, these right. side effects. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, moving on, you mentioned that there are different types of x-rays. Okay? Mm -hmm. And for x-ray, depending on which part of the body, we use a slightly different one. So you mentioned about CT scans where we can use it. And you said we are getting multiple slices. Thin slices. slices. But it's still x-ray. Yes. And then you mentioned that there is another one for the breast. Yes. What is that one? So um, because the breast in itself is already sensitive to radiation, we use low-dose x-ray to image the breast. Okay. Okay. Uh, when we talk of imaging breast or mammogram, people think it's only for females. No. We have male patients who, are, who also have breast cancer. Yes. So we expose the breast to very, very, very low dose x-ray to help us see what is in. So in radiography, we have something we call justification. We usually would want to weigh the benefit versus the risk. Mm. We are exposing radiation to this client, and we know it has side effects. But is it better to do or we should avoid it? Yeah. When you avoid it, the issue at hand might complicate. And that one, there's nothing much a doctor can do. The only thing would be perhaps palliative care. So if there's a need to introduce radiation to get to know that there's cancer and that this person needs treatment, why not? So if the benefit outweighs the risk, we will do. But if the risk outweighs the benefit, we wouldn't do. Let me cite an example. If a pregnant woman should come in for medical exams just because um, she's been employed in a new facility mm. and the pregnant woman is in the first trimester, we will never run the medical exams for the person because at that time, radiation could have... Uh, so the x-ray part of the medical exams will not be done. But the other, be bit, done. Okay, the other bits be done. will be done. All right. But then if you should have... Um, the same pregnant woman who has been involved in an accident could see that some portion of the uh, legs are swollen hands. We would want to find out if there is a fracture okay. and cure it. So though the pregnant woman is... Uh, the the, the woman is, is pregnant at is this pregnant time. And the fetus is yeah. sensitive to radiation. We would employ all our principles to make sure x-ray is done for the person. Okay. We will shield the baby. We will shield the mother, we will just collimate to that area of interest. So there's always a benefit versus a risk. So when would you advise that a woman does the mammogram? Uh, any woman above 40 years should have mammogram done every other year. Every other year. You see, in mammography we have...
something we call diagnostic mammography and screening mammography. Diagnostic mammography is when the doctor has realized you have a cancer. So just go take a mammogram and let's see the size of the cancer, how it has spread to the other cells. And we have screening. That is what we usually do in October. We'll be announcing breast cancer awareness. If you feel this, just go for it and be sure you don't have. And um, from, from the period of years I've worked, I've seen women who just walked in to see whether they are okay. And we detected cancer at the earliest stages. So with people like this, the doctor might not get the entire breast off, but they, they will just go in, use radiation therapy to shrink the cancer cell and pick it out. It saves lives. Then to wait for you to be told that you have cancer, so come in for mammogram. Asema ye ke ye bibia e ye nika na e bibi soa e faye hon. Se na e ye ye bibri e ye ye se x-ray die e nwa se ube biye bu wato fem ne ye se kutwa x-ray. Ba ye nyan en se ase se e nye se wudo mpe ubu mkwa e na ye ye x-ray na ni pedu yadi be biya ye to mi e de ye x-ray. Na ni ye me nika wo ni a wo kan hon si si ane se X-ray na no, ye to me e wo the special type. Ba kwa ye fre ni CT scan. E na ba kwa so ye fre no mammogram. Na mammogram no, e no no, ye de she, e ma e nufu. E no so ye. E ma ni me ma. Me da se. E ji, ye de he, e ne, wa, 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 su ma e ne, twa so ye. Ye de he, e ma ni me me nina nufu. Nufu, aha. O bi we kase, anabe ma di yo ni nufu. Me ma bi wo ho mo we nufu. Mimi mm. nyina wo nufu in fact in fact e bi o mu de ni sa but aha mimi be ma bi a we nya breast cancer but why nya media we free mu e si no ni ma me ma ni na afi bi o mu ba be twa e he say o mu ye okay ana you see breast cancer no it me ye me ma but do do na na ye e ta ye ma aha you see the mechanism say eh bi before the eye Say it now when I finish so ye didn't know ye be beyond I are in co hospital. Yeah, chain say ye bet see ya will be an sana yako hospital. And no sign more. A woman I feel back home, oh dear co doctor, me patcho my ba. Me who ye then won't be send me mo mo check him if I say be be a co ya for you know not be because so are and then you wedding. No right. Our time is running fast, okay. but you also mentioned apart from CT scan and mammogram. You also mentioned another one. You said is fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy. So what is that? So fluoroscopy, you, um, is, it looks as um, organs in motion. So there are organs like the heart that is always beating. It's always beating. So we can't use X-ray to capture it because X-ray is like just taking a photograph. The moment you move a bit, it becomes blurred. But this form of uh, modality helps us take organs that are moving. So the heart is always moving, but we can assess it using radiation. The, the stomach is always moving. Our diaphragm, the GIT, when we swallow, is always moving. How do we detect whether there's a problem? Sometimes we can have cancer of the stomach. We can have strictures, even constipation. Mm. You can have a client who, who's had constipation for two weeks. You want to investigate the larger intestine and the rectum and anus and see why this person is presenting with constipation. The intestines are, are always moving. So hardly will you get to see it with a general x-ray. We can, we can do that with CT as well, but fluoroscopy helps us do that. Our uterus and then the surrounding structures, they are okay. always mobile. Okay, how do we capture this uh, organs in a video form or picture form for the doctor to see what is happening there. And so we are realizing how important x-rays are. It's not as simple as we thought. It's more complex than that. And there are various forms of x-rays that we can use to our benefit. Please stay with us. We'll be right So much for staying with us and we are on the concluding part 
of today's discussion. We have been looking at everything x-rays, understanding how it is produced, how it works for us in, in our bodies, and when we go to the hospital and we ask to do x-rays, what we should do. And we've realized that there are different types and there are also different things that x-rays can be used. We all know just simple x-ray, but we know that now we know that we can have CT scans. We can have a mammogram, which is specific for the breast. We can also have fluoroscopy. But our time is all gone. But before we go, we'd like to take some concluding remarks from Gladys. Okay. So with a little working experience I have, I usually miss clients who are uh, afraid most of the time when they are asked to come for such procedures. And then uh, there are lots of misconceptions or myths with radiation. Uh, researchers have proven that you taking 40, uh, let's say, chest x-rays within a year is equivalent to 0.05, the risk of you developing cancer. So you shouldn't fret. And at the, um, I would say that it would help the doctor get to know what is wrong with you from inside without you being cut. The message I have for viewers is that uh, we shouldn't fear or fret whenever we are told to come for such investigations. I'll leave you with the word of God in 2 Timothy verses 1 and 7 that says that, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of sound mind. Thank you. And so you've heard it from the professional herself that if you are asked to do any of these investigations, it is actually for your own good. It isn't because um, the doctor wants you to spend extra money, but it's because the doctor needs that extra help to be able to understand what is happening with your body. Say, ebase wa ko hospital na yese koye x-ray, koye CT scan, koye mammogram, koye fluoroscopy, ene, mijidi se wat se ase. Enye wu sika na doctor no pese o se wu sika, ana se o pese wu boka keke. Nemum wenu mu ye nia me dia e bwa emma doctor ni etumi hunia e koso wo uni pedu mu ye. Na ni eme de krane se o se e ya nem kofu be bre ye sro e bitu mi du u hun fi diene wa hona nu we jane e ne ye dinim diabro. A kukudru yenfa kukudru n kaho. Se e yena se won tia si en kra wuduwa u to mi bisa na ye to mi abwa. Today We've been looking at x-rays and I believe that there's a lot that you have learned. In signing out, I want to say that this knowledge that we are bringing is to equip you and to make you better. And so use it and share it. Thank you so much for staying with us. I want to say a big thank you to our TAC media team for putting this together. We are open for questions, we are open for inquiries, and we are also open for sponsorship. If you want to do any of these, please use the numbers running on your screen. And until God gives us grace to come your way again, this has been the Health Arena. And my name is Helen Tetti. Stay blessed.